Thank you for volunteering for Michigan's first Mission of Mercy. The Michigan Dental Association and the Michigan Dental Association Foundation have teamed up to host the Mission of Mercy in Michigan. We look forward to seeing you June 6th through 9th at the Ryder Center on the campus of Saginaw Valley State University. Volunteers are the heart of a Mission of Mercy, and we are glad that you are one of them. Your compassion makes all the difference in the world for the mom patients. Enjoy the experience, the camaraderie, evening dinners, and most of all, the smiles of the folks we care for. You will leave Saginaw knowing that you truly made a difference. With your assistance, we'll be ready to provide care to about 1,000 patients on Friday and Saturday. Patients will begin to line up the night before the event and will be treated on a first-come, first-served basis. Patient education will be a top priority in the MOM event since education is the best way to reduce oral diseases. While the concept behind a MOM event is easily put into words, it is the enormity of planning and executing the event that must be truly appreciated. The Michigan MOM Committee is made up of 40 lead individuals in charge of the departments required to run a successful event. Look for the volunteers wearing red polo shirts. These are the department leads and second leads. Questions should be directed to these individuals. On the screen, you will see a list of leads and second leads for each department. Remember to look for volunteers wearing red polo shirts for questions and assistance throughout the MOM event. Safety is of primary concern. Here is some general safety information to keep in mind. In case of a medical or security emergency, alert your department lead so that they can get assistance for you. With 2,000 patients and volunteers, a mission of mercy can best be described as organized chaos. Remember, flexibility is the word of the day. Mom patients will come from throughout the state and perhaps neighboring states. Some patients may be nervous since they have not seen a dentist in many years. Some may speak little or no English or may not be able to read. Here is some additional information about mom patients. Remember the golden rule and treat every patient as you would want to be treated yourself. A caring smile goes a long way. The services provided during the mom event will differ from your private dental office. This is not the time or place for comprehensive dentistry. About 2,000 people are expected to receive $1 million in free dental care during mom. Each patient will be triaged and care will be limited to the most urgent need identified. The plan is to spend about 45 minutes with each patient. Good morning, Saginaw. Rise and shine, volunteers. At 5 a.m., patient greeters will go outside to give name tags to the people waiting in line. Patients will be brought into the Writer Center in groups of 30 to begin the registration process. It will be important to keep patients in first come, first served order through registration, medical triage, and dental triage. The goal is to have patients in treatment chairs at 6 a.m. The first group of patients will proceed from patient registration through medical and dental triage and receive oral health education after treatment. All other patients will go through patient education before being screened in medical triage. At the routing station, each patient will receive a colored routing card indicating the department where they will receive treatment. The number on the card will designate their order in the department. The first group of patients will proceed directly to the treatment chairs and be anesthetized by the treating dentist. The following patients will be seated in the waiting area of the designated treatment department where the waiting room coordinators will keep everyone in first come, first serve order. Following treatment, the patient will be escorted to the exit interview tables. The treating dentist may prescribe antibiotics and pain medication, which will be dispensed at the on-site pharmacy for no charge to the patient. If a dentist chooses to write a script for a stronger medication, the patient will be directed to the nearby pharmacy where the script will be filled for no cost. Dental triage is where the treatment plan will be decided. During dental triage, the dentist will evaluate the patient and determine up to three oral health priorities. In consultation with the dentist, the patient will select one priority need for treatment. All patients 12 years old and under must be accompanied by a parent or guardian. The adult and child will receive wristbands with special identification to track them throughout the clinic. 
Pediatric patients will go through registration and then be brought to routing where they will receive a pediatric routing card. If both parent and child are receiving treatment, the child will accompany the parent through medical and dental triage. At routing, each will receive a routing card for the respective treatment departments. Whichever routing number comes first is the department where the patient will wait. If only the child is receiving care, they will go from registration to routing for a pediatric routing card. Please review the information on the screen about additional information for pediatric patients. Accurate records are a must for patient treatment and to help track the amount of treatment provided. All treating patients must sign the treatment form. Each department will have a record verifier to assist. Please use only blue pens on patient treatment forms. When the patient leaves the clinic, they will receive a copy of their treatment form and must present that form if they seek additional treatment the same day or the following day. Any additional treatment must be recorded in blue ink on the copy form to accurately track the treatment provided. If a patient returns for care for the second treatment priority, they must go to the back of the patient line. If they received care on Friday, they can return on Saturday for additional treatment. Each dental chair will have a set of color-coded assistance cards. If you need assistance, simply hold the corresponding color in the air or place it on the pole in the overhead light. The cards will be monitored by the appropriate volunteers. It is important to follow proper infection control procedures. Only bottled water is allowed on the clinic floor. No food or beverages, please. Run line cleaner through the HVAC and saliva ejector after each patient. Wipe down all surfaces with a cavicide between patients. A wipe left on the patient chair means the work area is ready for the next patient. Please disengage sharps at your workstation and dispose of them in the nearest sharps container. There will be red bags for medical waste, tooth buckets for extracted teeth, and DNRA containers for scrap amalgam and amalgam capsules. Sterilization is the heart of the clinic. Instruments must be turned over as quickly as possible to keep the clinic running efficiently. When you drop off instruments or pick up sterilized ones, we ask that you wear gloves. Only take the instruments that you need for one patient. Please, no hoarding. Be sure to place all instruments back into the cassette before returning them to sterilization. Place personal instruments into a sterilization pouch and label it with your name. Thank you to all of our generous donors and suppliers who have made this event possible. While we have a limited choice of dental materials and supplies, we are grateful for what we have and hope that you will take that attitude as well if your preferred material is not available. If there is something you simply cannot live without, feel free to bring it with you. We ask that you take the supplies you need for one patient at a time. Again, no hoarding, please. Media, legislators, and other VIPs will be visiting the MOM event. Volunteers have been assigned to give tours of the clinic and provide information and answer questions. As a volunteer, you may be asked questions or be requested to do an interview with the media. Talking points are available, however, it is suggested that you contact the PR leads to assist with interviews. Take a break, enjoy a meal, meet new friends, share your stories, and at the end of the day, come and celebrate. You are God's gift to our patients. The break room is in the Cardinal Gym, just outside volunteer registration. Breakfast, lunch, and snacks will be served throughout the day. Please be sure to scatter your breaks within your department so patient treatment will not be interrupted. Remember to keep the food and beverages in the Cardinal Gym. Only bottled water is allowed on the clinic floor. A special thanks to the American Dentist Care Foundation for their assistance with this mom event. Be sure to take a peek outside the loading dock and see the semi-truck that brought the dental chairs, units, lights, autoclaves, and all the instruments to make this weekend a reality. Tens of thousands of people have received care at the many Mission of Mercy events held throughout the country over the last 10 years. Michigan becomes the 27th state to host a mom. And last but not least, thank you for volunteering. Have fun, be flexible, share a smile, take home a memory. And if this has touched your heart, we will see you next year in Big Rapids.